The images of highways nearly empty at rush hour and massive international airports sitting all but idle show us what we all know just by taking a drive outside of our homes these days. The world has gone quiet. Now scientists are showing us just how much planet Earth is enjoying the rest. NBC's Molly Hunter has our Sunday Spotlight. Around the world, from Cairo to Paris, Moscow to Bangkok, there's a stillness and with it a silence never heard before. The Great Wall of China deserted. At the Trevi Fountain, time slows. No coin tossing, no chatter. None of the racket, the cacophonous rhythm of our pre-coronavirus lives. No crowds, no traffic, no trains. And as our behavior changed, so too the world in seismic ways. From your window in, the, in Brussels, you can hear it's quieter, but we also want to show you that we measure it. So to my kind of human ears, earth level ears, it's quieter, but also yep. you, you guys know scientifically that the earth sounds different right now. Yes, exactly. Thomas Lecoq, a seismologist in Brussels, noticed immediately when the human hum took a dive. From the very first day of the lockdown, this energy dropped dramatically, like 30, 35 percent. But with some two billion people inside, it wasn't just Brussels. The anthropogenic hiss, the pulsing of human activity in the world's greatest cities, now a whisper, and the Earth's interior even louder. Seismologists now picking up smaller, more distant volcanic activity. No, it's everywhere at the same time globally, and that, that's really interesting. Seismometers, instruments that measure the Earth's vibrations, hear us, all of us, staying home. We hope that uh, we show that cities are nicer when they're quieter. Well, and for, for the air, for the water, for the animals, for Absolutely. our lungs, all of it. Usually in front of Buckingham Palace, this whole area is just packed with tourists. But today, if you listen really closely, you can actually hear those guards marching. Those steps are never empty. Lunchtime on a working day, usually packed. St. Paul's Cathedral is at the heart of London's financial center. And here on the Millennium Bridge in my adopted city, there are no boats on the water of very calm River Thames. Many of these new sounds being mapped and listened to by Stuart Fawkes. He's creating a global sound bank, 4,000 submissions from 100 countries, an oral legacy from the age of coronavirus. The first was around um, sounds of nature, so people say, oh, this is amazing. The roar of bees, usually masked by the nearby freeway, the dawn chorus deafening. And then the second was kind of like, oh, we're kind of locked down. How are we going to entertain ourselves? So many songs in all different languages. And across the world, we created some of the same sounds that we'll always remember. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mixed in, there are old sounds too, centuries old, now louder. Bells that toll for the dead in Spain, but also bells that speak hope from the Vatican. This morning, you have the time to just listen. For Sunday Today, Molly Hunter, NBC News, London.